Hello everyone, we got two videos to put out today. The first one's going to be a discussion of Oizio, Adaptive Spy, who we uh, we didn't cover yesterday. Uh, but yeah, let's let's talk a little bit about this card, because it's the new promo that's just come out. Uh, for the next week, you can get a free copy of it by playing and winning a game in, I think, pretty much any mode. So if you are interested, uh, here is the Felm card. It is a three-cost blue-purple, or in other words, straight-up Felm card, 0-1 Ambush Warp. Although those stats don't really matter because Oizio has the ability of summon, transform Oizio into a unit in a void that died this turn. So, uh, several things to notice about this. First off, it does not trigger any summon effects for the unit that died. Uh, secondly, I believe you can torch it in response to it triggering its summon effect, so it's not going to be an immediate effect that you can always get. If your opponent has torch up, that is an answer to Oizio Adaptive Spy. That being said, it is a copy of the unit in the Void that died this turn, so any buffs, any uh, counters, any like interesting things that are happening with the card uh, will be on Oizio's copy, so like basically that should be uh, anything along the lines of like, for example, if you have attacked several times with an eye lin and then sacrifice it or your opponent has attacked with an eye lin and you've killed it then you can pop in oizio and it should have all of the eye lin counters on it that kind of stuff uh but yeah like basically this card is a felm card that copies other units uh, including enemy units which enemy copying is a fairly uncommon mechanic that you don't see a lot of specifically because it is uh, really, really tricky to do well. If you have something that allows you to basically duplicate and remove your opponent's stuff, then oftentimes your opponent is tempted not to play that stuff so that you can uh, play a transform card like this, which is why you don't see a lot of these designs out in the wild. That being said, Oizio has some pretty clear drawbacks that make this much more possible and much more interesting to play around. Uh, it is effectively a steel card, similar to stuff like Touch of the Umbrin, and similar to Touch of the Umbrin, people aren't going to be that afraid of it. I don't think it's going to be uh, have that kind of chilling effect on the meta unless it is overpowered, and it seems like it's in the right spot overall. So, some things that you can do with Oizio Adaptive Spy. Obviously, you can use it to fuel any sort of deck that you want to do interesting devour tricks with. You can actually just duplicate your own units if there are particularly good reasons to eat them. So, if you've got things with good infiltrates, if you have things with really, really good sort of like haunting scream type effects, or like uh, entomb effects are the most important things. Like, you can effectively sacrifice those units, and then you can play Oizio and get a new copy. So, if you sacrifice a 5 5 Bora, Oizio will come out as a 7-7 Vara unless your opponent sacrifices a unit, which is pretty interesting stuff. Uh, of the things that I think are most interesting about that, Oizio is probably a pretty clear target for Reweave. I haven't actually had the chance to test this yet, but reweaving something into an Oizio should give you a shifted copy of the unit that you just killed, which uh, seems pretty neat. I'm barely into it. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll see if that's, uh, that's going to work. It also does work with Vargo's Pelt. It is a transform effect, so Oizio can get a straight-up buff from any sort of transform based decks that you want to run, particularly Vargo's Pelt decks, uh, which are like crazy, crazy good things. Thanks to Huzzah in the chat for noting that. Um, yeah, and like, so yeah, there's a lot of interesting stuff just like with playing with your own synergies that really, really are quite interesting. Oizio also works in control type decks where you want to specifically play cheap removal and then follow up with Oizio on a turn where you have a lot of power open. So if you're frequently holding up three to four power, or four to five power, you can do things like your opponent attacks you with an Annihilate and a Teacher of Humility. So you annihilate the Sandstorm Titan, or your opponent attacks you with a Sandstorm Titan and a Teacher of Humility. You can do stuff like annihilate the Sandstorm Titan, drop Oizio Adaptive Spy in, turn it into a Sandstorm Titan, and then block the Teacher of Humility, which that's really fun. That's a great pattern. That's really, really exciting stuff. So yeah, this is a pretty interesting control, pat control card that actually has some really useful abilities if you have lots of fast removal at very very quick speeds. I'm most interested in Feln with a little bit of green splashed in again like both because of the reweave synergy but also because that's where Defiance belongs and Defiance is a particularly good card for Oizio to find cool copies. Um, like there's just a lot of interesting things that you can turn them into. So, obviously there are drawbacks to this card. It's not a uh, it's not amazing for a number of different reasons. One is that it is a card that does not itself have any uh, innate value. You have to pair it with some sort of removal or sacrifice, and if you are not playing a deck with 
plenty of both of those, then this card is often a dead card in hand in situations where you would otherwise be really, really like happy to have him. Uh, the ambush is makes it even harder since oftentimes you want to play the ambush to get the value. If you aren't playing for the ambush, this card is effectively a copy of a card that you have attacked with this turn that died for some reason, which is not always easy to accomplish. But it's an interesting possibility. There's some cool stuff that you could potentially do there. And yeah, it is a fun card to drop in play after like a harsh roll, that kind of thing. Um, like, but yeah, also like Oizio has to be paired with other cards, which means that his effective cost is usually a little higher than three to get a copy. Copying is generally pretty good at three, kind of okay at four. Like you can do a fast spell four cost card. It doesn't see a lot of play. And then copying other people's units is like end of hostilities at six, which usually you don't want to play on other people's units if you don't have to. It's pretty under costed at that point. So Oizio being like an average average five cost card makes him an okay cost for his like his basically bare minimum effect but you do have to spend two cards on that and the second card has to do something that hopefully is going to be somewhat beneficial so there's there's definitely a lot of combo stuff going on there in that case you have to pair oizio with draw you have to pair him with cards that have good synergy sacrifice effects and fast spell removal but if you can do those things there's a lot of interesting payoff to be found and also if you can like in some way synergize with his transform effects there's some really really cool things to do i think my favorite uh concept for oizio is i really really want to do some like uh Kraken type stuff where you basically like throw a bunch of your cards into the void and then you uh, play like a Kraken or you play some sort of like very very big unit you sacrifice it and then you haunting scream Oizio adaptive spy turning it into a transformed unit the unit will lose flying but it will still have charge and it will be sacrificed at end of turn so you can potentially haunting scream some units that are much much bigger than uh, four and that seems like something that's kind of interesting to do um yeah so uh beyond that like that's that's pretty much all the notes i have on this card it's weird and interesting and i really like that film has more weird and interesting cards because film is traditionally a very controlling setup but it often relies on getting to that champion of cunning at the top and a lot of like really really boring removal in the middle so this really gives film a little bit more onboard interaction in a way that's really interesting and unusual and so i'm pretty on board with that that seems like something that you can really do some cool things with uh and yeah that's that's my notes on oisia so hope you guys enjoyed uh feel free to like or subscribe and i will see you in probably just a little bit longer with another video on the upcoming set that is coming out uh there is a small set campaign style thing coming out that we will be talking about but that will be out on wednesday and uh, we will put the video up on that in just a moment so see you then thank you guys so much for watching